Hey guys, my name is Megan. Thanks for stopping in today. I just wanted to come on here and quickly update what I've been up to, some of the projects that I've been working on, some of the projects that I'm going to start working on soon, get some feedback from you guys, and also answer some of the questions that I've received lately. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the notifications bell because if you don't, when I update or publish a new video, you won't know, you will miss it. So anyway, I have been on vacation now for like two months, which is sad because I actually only went on vacation for about two and a half weeks. My husband and I took a West Coast trip. We started in Vancouver. We did Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, and LA, and we stopped at a few places in between, and we were gone for like two and a half weeks. Um, and I just haven't been able to really establish a really great routine since I've gotten back. Um, I've cut my hours at my full-time job where I do hair. Eventually, I'm actually going to stop doing hair in November and be able to focus on other things, um, which is really nice. I've been doing hair for 10 years and I'm kind of ready to just um, do what I'm more passionate about. I'm in the middle of a huge macrame hammock project right now, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen. It has been, needless to say, really, really hard um, and time consuming. I made some mistakes and I had to fix them and I'm actually making a video about it which is really great because I'm going to show you guys um, what not to do and also what to do if you would like to make your own macrame hammock. This is what's happening with the hammock right now. It is basically a ball of string and like part of a hammock but it's coming along. I think it's going to be really, really rewarding when I'm done. I can't wait to hang it on my balcony. If you've been following my videos, you've seen my balcony. I made a couch earlier this season and uh, it's just, it's not complete without a hammock. So it's gonna be so comfortable out there once I get it done. I'm just excited to finish it. So that's the project that I'm working on currently. Um, some of the things that I'm going to do coming up and some of the things I want some feedback on, um, are I'm gonna do some drop cloth drapes in the living room here. I have done these downstairs and I did them um, really successfully. They look really, really good. They're super cheap. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, bleach them, um, iron them, hang them. It's really simple. There's a couple videos that I've watched on YouTube about it already. And uh, some things I don't entirely agree with, some of the things that people are doing. Um, so I'm just going to show you a simpler way, the way that I did it, and I'm going to make a video about that. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I've also gotten some questions. Would I make a YouTube tutorial on a really, really large wall hanging? Which I would if that was something that you guys wanted to see. So leave me a comment below if you are interested in seeing a really large scale wall hanging um, tutorial on that. Another one that I got was a really small uh, wall hanging tutorial. So let me know if you'd like a really large one or a really small one or if you guys would like to see more plant hanger tutorials. I'm actually planning to do um, some plant hangers here in the living room and I want to install some ceiling hooks so I plan to do a video about that as well. Um, and I received some questions on the bookshelves that I have here in the living room. The bookshelves I my husband and I installed two years ago, it was my idea to do these to look like built-in bookshelves or like a built-in, but without all of the hard work of, of installing and expense of installing built-ins. I also am not a huge fan of um, the cabinets that most built-ins have um, on the bottom. I don't really like the look. I just wanted to fill the space on either side of our mantle and I wanted just shelving, just like open shelving. So these are the shelves. They're just floating shelves on either side of my mantle. And if you look, let me come to this side. If you look on the bottom, it's just one, two, three cross pieces a front piece, a back piece, and then the actual shelf on top. So it's really simple to make. And then we screwed them in to the studs and covered them up. Some places are covered better than others. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have, um, I did not film 
a tutorial on it, but I can say that it's something that I researched on Pinterest. We built the frame for the shelving and um, we installed it, painted it over a weekend. We just made sure that we screwed them into the studs. I actually can stand on these. Like to clean the top one, I stand on the bottom one. They are so sturdy. I wouldn't tell my husband that I stand on them because he would probably think that I was crazy. But I, um, I love them and they were really simple and easy to do. Installing shelving looks, I think, a lot more daunting than it is. Um, a lot of people go out, they go to Target and buy shelves. to make, You can make your own shelves um, with really, really simple cuts of wood. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It's just a really quick update. Leave me a comment on some of the projects that you would like to see, what you're looking for from me macrame-wise, and I'll see you guys next time.